Hello Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. Today we are going to make some embellishments for journals and I wanted to show you how I used one in this signature here to look like a much bigger area. It takes up um, a nice portion of the page and I created that one into a tuck spot like that. So I just happen to have this book that has all of these little sections and I feel like a lot of botanical book pages might have something similar. Of course, you don't have to use this exact type of thing. Um, I handed this book page too from an, uh, it was oh, a butterfly book and I liked the little square or rectangle sections. I just feel like it will work perfect for this idea. Um, so these came from this book right here, House and Garden Plants. But again, if you don't have this exact type of book, you can just cut out little squares. They don't even have to be squares. You can use the same idea. Um, so this one also has, yeah, these little sections. So even this would work perfect. Um, here we can even, we'll take a few out and we will go ahead and use this up too while we're here. I guess this is like a whole section that has to come out. Okay, might as well. So we will just real quick cut out a couple of these so that we can see what they'll look like with different shapes. So I'm gonna cut out this little section here. And then we'll also cut out the little rectangle below it right here. Um, I actually have a bunch of these somewhere that I had cut out and didn't want to throw away because I knew that I might use them for something. Like these ones would even be great for a pocket because they are like a longer rectangle. Of course, we can use the images for something later. But yeah, we'll make one with this just so you can see what it will look like with just um, writing but most of mine do have pictures. And so I just one day cut out a bunch of them knowing I might wanna use them as something. They would make great journal cards too, but let's stay on track. So we are going, I'm gonna use some coffee dyed paper, but you can use scraps or whatever you want. And I am going to start by, let's see. Let me look at my original one again, because I really liked how, okay. I layered it with some, laces and fabric so we're going to do that same thing and I'll go ahead and just use some fabric scraps here and some lace scraps I'm working on a journal that is going to be full of lace and fabric so I wanted to make sure to use lots of that when I was creating these so what we're going to do, and I did sew these ones, I'm going to use this one right here. We'll start by, first of all, adding some ink around because my pages are pretty white. And then I also want to take my stencil here since there is a good amount of white space. And I'll just go like that. Ooh, that looks really cute. And then to get started, I'm just going to place this on the coffee dyed paper and we will glue this down to the coffee dyed paper first. And then kind of layer that over so that the little fabric peeks out. I just kind of wanted these to be ready to be used like I showed you as like a tuck spot or something like that in a journal. So then I'm gonna rip around. I don't want these to be too big because I wanna have the ability to add them to like maybe an envelope or a glassine bag that would make it even bigger. And I think I ripped that really funny, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. So. Again, we could add more, we could keep it like this, we could staple this for some extra little detail. I love staple details. I have a, my mini stapler here. So yeah, just like that. So 
I just call these little book page embellishments and we're just gonna continue making a few. We'll use the other shapes as well. Yeah, you could just make up a bunch of these and have them on hand. And I just like that they're a little bit bigger because I do feel like a lot of times when I'm making embellishments, they're pretty small and so I usually have to add quite a bit to like make them a you know like a bigger portion of the um book page if that even makes sense Let me go ahead and tear this down first but you can layer these on to scrapbook paper or you don't even have to layer them onto anything if you don't want to well you know i just wanted them to be more of a finished piece so let's see we'll grab some lace and let's layer some of this bigger fabric. Oh, right. I forgot that I added some leaf trim on the top of the first one I made. So let's do that as well. I actually really liked how that looked. Um, okay. These are kind of thick. So you know what? I'm just going to use one like that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and yeah, I have this leaf trim here. And I like that it just kind of goes along with the whole theme, of course. I'm going to staple it. If it was easier for me to film at my sewing machine, I might just take these to the sewing machine and go around the edges. But again, I don't mind stapled detail. Um, so you can just decide what you like. We'll staple this one on too. And then let's actually finish these off with maybe a little butterfly sticker or let's see. And we'll make a couple more together with those other shapes so you can see what that would look like. I always just like butterflies with like botanicals. Okay, so we'll use this pink one for this. And we'll layer that right there. Then Ooh, I kind of like this greenish one. Okay, let's, we'll make two more with these because this, this is a pretty redundant little project. And again, it'll be super fun, but I feel like I just need to show you a couple. And hopefully this will spark some interest for you to use up some of your book pages. Maybe you have some little cutouts that you've been wondering what to do with. Ooh, I really like the idea of using the stencil. So if you have one that has just more writing than images, I think that would still look so cute, especially once we get it all dressed up and done. So let's again take some lace we'll go like that for that one. We'll take a different lace for this one. This is a smaller one, so we can even make the coffee dyed paper larger or whatever. These would look cute small as well. Okay. 
some fabric, layer that under like so. Now I'm just going to add glue just to hold it down. If you're not using staples, maybe just use more glue on the fabric and lace, but I'm gonna add the staples to hold down the fabric and lace better. staple this before I rip around the coffee dyed paper. There's that one. Not quite done. We'll add a few last minute touches. I'll just cut this one now. I like the tear marks to be completely honest. up a little bit more okay we'll use a sticker and if you just have text yeah you could use bigger stickers or maybe layer on extra fabric or lace just play around with it and see what you like I'm gonna add staples like that okay so let's see if we can get this backing off sometimes these little clear stickers are hard to get off there we go all right i'm gonna put this over on this side like that and then i'll put one on here Uh, maybe up in this corner and then let's see maybe I will or won't use the leaf trim for these ones um, okay I will for this one this one has a lot going on so I'm not sure if I want to we'll try it out and see well, okay, actually I do like it, but over on this side. Oh, ran out of staples. So we will add some more. I'm actually surprised I didn't make a little assembly line set up for this. But I'm actually finishing a journal right now and made one of these for the journal. So I was like, well, let's go ahead and turn the camera on. So it was kind of an unplanned video, but I felt like I had to show you guys. There we go. Fun. Okay, so there's those two. Yeah, I mean, honestly, even one with just text, I think looks awesome. But I definitely say add some stenciling and some kind of a sticker or you could also just cut out an image from another book and add it on. So yeah, I hope that you guys like these little book page embellishments. Super fun. Um, and yeah, be on the lookout for some more embellishment videos coming soon. I definitely am needing to use up a lot of my scraps. So that's what I am thinking about right now. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye guys.